In this lesson, we'll work with images. Apps these days are a lot more colorful than the old Windows Shades of Grey days, and images are used extensively in mobile development to make the apps more lively. So, we're going to take a look at adding images, and the first thing we'll need are some drawable resources. So we'll add some existing items, and I have two header logos. One is a JPEG and one is a PNG. And I can show you the difference between those. So we'll add two image view widgets. And we'll set their source properties, and their source properties are the image resources that we're going to use for them. In the top one, we'll use the JPEG. and the second one we'll use the PNG. The PNG has actually got a transparent background uh, where the black area is and we can see that if I go to the layout and change its background color. It's interesting how the designer doesn't understand gray, but this part does. So that's the transparency that a PNG will allow you to have. Now the other thing that we should look at is the scaling of the image. And in this case, I've got a layout width of fill parent as opposed to wrap content. If I change it to wrap content, the image shifts a little bit, changes scale a touch. So let's just kind of change this layout completely, and you can see the effect that it had on the scaling of the image. Now let's say if we want to control that a little bit more, we can use the scale type attribute. And if we center the image, it'll put it center horizontal and vertical as best it can but it won't scale it at all so you can see that essentially the image is cropped off. If we choose center crop it will attempt to size it for the size of the widget um, rather than the image and it will use whichever direction it can fit the maximum size to. In this case it's tried to stretch the image vertically and that's made the horizontal fit even worse. The center inside will scale the widget to use as much area as it can and center it. So in this case it fit horizontally just barely where there's left over vertically and so it centers it vertically. A fit center is about the same but it will actually attempt to fit the widget uh, and stretch it if necessary. A fit end, we'll put it to the end and fit it as best it can. As a fit start, we'll put it at the start. If I was stretched out horizontally, that would end up to be left right as opposed to the, the top and bottom that you just saw. and the fit XY stretches it in both horizontal and vertical directions. So that's kind of the scaling that you can get with the image. Uh, the matrix just uses the image as points and so it essentially scales directly. And if we run these, images show pretty much the same way that they do in the designer. So that's how to use images in an image view and the same principles basically apply if you're putting them on an image button as well or if you're using them as background images for resources. So you can use images in a number of different areas. The image view is just one way.